Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's try our hand at this next example. Notice we have something in parentheses raised to the negative 3 power, a negative exponent. And what's inside the parentheses is a fraction, which means we can turn this into a positive exponent simply by turning the fraction upside down. So this can now be written as x cubed plus y cubed divided by 2x to the one third power, the whole thing now raised to the positive 3 exponent. Another thing we should also note is over here, that if you have a fraction raised to an exponent, that means you have the numerator raised to the exponent and the denominator raised to the exponent. So let's separate that. So this can now be written as the quantity x cubed plus y cubed to the third power divided by 2x to the one third power raised to the third power. Why did we do that? Well, because that way we can concentrate on simplifying this and simplifying this. So let's write this. This can now be written as x cubed plus y cubed to the third power. I'm first going to work with the denominator. Divide that by 2 cubed. Well, 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8. And x to the 1 third power raised to the third power. Here we multiply the exponents together. 1 third times 3 equals 1. So simply 8 times x. Now next you may be tempted to try to divide the x into the numerator. x cubed divided by x would be x squared, but you can't do that for two reasons. First of all, the numerator is in parentheses and it's raised to the third power. You'd have to do this operation first. Next, there's a plus sign here. It's x cubed plus y cubed. So even if this exponent wasn't there, you still cannot divide x into there because the plus sign here means that you have to divide x both into the x cubed and into the y cubed, which you can't do. Also, the numerator here, we have x cubed plus y cubed to the third power. There, what that really means, and let me show you as follows, that means the following. This is the quantity x cubed plus y cubed to the third power. This is the same as saying x cubed, whoop, this would be x cubed plus y cubed times x cubed plus y cubed times x cubed plus y cubed. The reason why I wrote this out is because you may be tempted to simply say, oh, isn't this simply equal to x to the 9 plus y to the 9? Then the answer is no, because of this plus sign again. Since it's plus, you have to look at it like this, which means you'd have to multiply all this out. That would be a whole lot of work. It's simply easier to leave it in this form. So this would then be the final form of the expression above. Again, in order to be able to divide this in there, you'd have to have an x cubed times y cubed, then it would work. But since it's plus y cubed, you just want to leave it just as it is. And that's how it's done.